Kuno Leo. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me Kuno. Today I'm gonna show you how you can implement trophies, game jolt trophies, um, to your uh, Click Team Fusion 2.5 games. First, you want to download uh, the Game Jolt API for uh, Fusion. You can find a link in the description. This is how it looks like, but we're just gonna use the example because that's all we need. So, uh, so we want to use the trophies, right? You can just ignore, ignore these, and we just want this part, and we want these. So okay, we're gonna copy these. Go to tile screen here. Just paste it somewhere out of frame. And we take these. Because you you will uh, have to be able to like log in, you know. So okay. this doesn't look that far fan. <laughs> okay, it, this doesn't look fancy at all. But uh, let's just roll with it, okay? Let's get out. Make it easier. So uh, the thing we need now is go to example. Like you always want to have this, so uh, Control C. I'm gonna copy this. We we'll go back to title. This is some old stuff I put in there, and just paste. Because when we open, this is some uh, like change logs and whatever. We don't need to touch that at all. Then we go back here to the example. And a login example. Copy this one as well. And yes, yeah, copy paste. And since we used the like original but login button, like we don't need to change anything here either. Click on the little gear, manage game, game API, and API settings. This is your game ID and your private key thing. And what you want to do, you, you click on the Game Jolt API, you head over to the values, and Game ID. This is the Game ID. I copy this. There we go. And the Game Key. The Game Key is the private key here. Okay. You can see the game now, but once this video is up, I'm just going to generate a new one. So, so you take copy paste that there now that's finished now you can log in and log in and get stuff done you know so now we can now log in you know so we do like this okay now the game is full screen so it looks a bit off as you can see but you just username and then you take your game token you can find it on your game jolt so I want to make a trophy right so we go to, uh, there it is. So yeah, blip, blip, blip. copy a shift trophy sample. We go here. Easy peasy. And, uh, and now we want to make a trophy, right? So uh, go to trophies. This is the different kind of tiers, you know. We're just gonna take out a view and log in like a first timer. We just call it first timer description. Log in for the first time with Gabe Jolt. That's a cool one. And uh you can pick so it's secret like oh it's a secret uh, trophy achievement you you don't know how to obtain it you know so if it's secret you can't read the description and uh, you have like visible when this is checked then everyone can see that the game has a trophy but for now we want to make it invisible it's hidden 
Now nobody can see it just for testing purposes. And now we see that we got uh, the trophy ID. And this is what we're gonna use here. So when we go back here, we got a trophy example. And it says, oh, achieve trophy, like this right here. This is what triggers like us getting the trophy. So how about we just, uh, for example, like we will log in. You see, this is the login. When the login true, the text turns to logged in. We just want to copy that and paste it in here. Replace this one because I noticed that if when you don't have run this event once Imagine like you have a counter a switch You can call it like um, when the counter is one you activated one thing or you obtained one item or whatever If you don't have run this event once and have a trophy associated with that counter the game will just crash it's, it's like tries to give you a million trophies at the same time kind of deal, you know, so you It's okay when you log in basically You get the trophy so you go to edit and then The command and achieve and you see these numbers here We'll have to change them to be the same numbers as trophy ID I'm gonna do that now There we go. And uh, when we log in, we'll get the trophy. So let's try this out, right? So get. So I put in my stuff. So when I click on login, we're gonna get a trophy. There we go. We can also make it so, uh, so uh, like when you log in, we take jump to, uh, you know, uh, getting ready screen. You know, for example, now, now when we log in. Now when we log in, it will redirect us instantly. And yeah, if you don't want to like, oh, I don't want to have to log in, then, then you can just like, hey, click anywhere to start, you know? Just can, you can just add another button that says skip login, you know, and it takes you directly to, you know, the, the game, you know? Imagine. For example, you have this counter, and then it's like uh, trophy, trophy one, you know. And when you get the trophy, you want you want the, this to turn to one, you know. So uh, for making it easy, we're just gonna copy paste, replace this, and uh, and when trophy is equal to one. You just edit the command, change the numbers to the ID of the trophy. Okay. We can remove that one. And uh, yeah, run this once. You need to do that. At least run this once or run once when action loops. You know, if you like, you get a trophy when the, 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 the trophy counter is one. You might as well like, oh, when you log in. You can just set this to be one, you know, and when it's one, you get a trophy instead of using this method, but either works. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. It's really simple. And uh, if you want to do high scores, like how to do a high score and stuff like that, just watch uh, the video right here. This, uh, this video, the, the creator of the API got on uh, his game profile, it shows you how to do the same thing but with high scores. 
so that's why I didn't show it off in this video yeah you get uh, you can put trophies in your game pretty nice hope this works and uh, yeah